In the last video, we finished kind of getting started with our comments thread. Now we can navigate to the comments thread and it displays the first comment as that caption for the video or for the photo itself. So you can see that it's displaying the username of the user who posted it and then also the caption they chose. The problem we're facing now is how to make this likes widget and this reply widget invisible only for this very first comment because technically it's not a comment it's like the the caption of the post itself so last time I was in the comments list adapter and I surrounded this in a try catch just temporarily because it was crashing uh, but it was actually crashing on this right here this likes widget and let's see up here and it's actually it was causing a null pointer because it wasn't instantiated and that's because it isn't instantiated as you can see up here so let's copy this line right here change it to likes and change this to likes and change this to a text view and there we go so now that null pointer shouldn't actually be thrown and it should actually hide those things and I'm getting an error somewhere oh it went away okay yeah let's see this is red I'm not sure where the error is but this whole thing is highlighted red I don't see any error in the sidebar here though so I don't know what's going on anyway I'm going to try and run this and we're gonna take a look and see if we're still getting that issue so let's go to the profile choose an image choose the comments thread and there we go so now our issue seems to be resolved the widgets that we want invisible are definitely invisible now so now I guess we're ready to try and post our first comment so let's go into the view comments fragment and let's see here we have our comment widget and we have our check mark so let's go into our setup widgets method which we don't have yet so let's set an on-click listener to our check mark and try to submit our first comment so let's go down here and do check mark set on-click listener new on-click listener and we definitely want to check to make sure that we're not submitting a null comment so attempting to actually I'll do the log after we check so if the comment dot get text dot to string dot equals if it doesn't equal blank then we're good then we can go attempting to submit new comment and to submit a new comment we're gonna need a few firebase objects so let's go to view post fragment and just go to the very top and we just need a few things we're gonna need the uh, we need the database reference, the database, and the auth. So we're just going to highlight all that, go back to view comments, fragment, and add a Firebase section up here. We don't need the auth state listener. Actually, I guess it's better just to leave it. That way we can check uh, the authentication state if we needed to. So we'll leave that there. And let's go back into view post fragment, scroll down to the very bottom, and grab on stop, on start and everything it contained under this Firebase kind of heading right here and go back and we're going to paste it in just like we always do and so now we have our auth, we have our database, we have our listener, cool so now we can create a new method for adding that new comment so we can go private void add new comment and we just need to take one parameter for the new comment And just say adding new comment and go new comment and then here the first thing we need to do is get the new comment ID so just go comment ID equals my ref dot push dot get key to generate that new key and now we're going to create a new comment object equals new comment comment set comment to the new comment and comment set date created and we're going to need to get uh, we're going to need a method to get the timestamp, so I'm going to leave that blank for now. Comment dot set user ID, and that's going to be whatever the current user is. So Firebase auth get instance get current user get user ID. Comment set likes. We're not going to set any likes. So that is about it. That's going to be our new comment. So now we need a method to get the timestamp, and oh, I've got the equal sign up here and to do that I believe there's one in Firebase methods so let's go into our Firebase methods class utils Firebase methods and look for get timestamp I'm pretty sure we called it get timestamp yeah there it is so let's just copy that method right there and we can close the project pane close Firebase methods 
And let's post that get timestamp method there and then post it right there. Cool, now we're ready to insert that new comment. So we can do my ref and child, and we're just gonna go for one thing into the photos node. So database name photos, and then next line, child. Now we're gonna do the photo ID. So we can do m photo get photo ID to get that photo ID, and then child again. And this is where we're gonna enter a new node for the comments, or it's actually gonna be a list of comments. So it's actually gonna be field comments, but I haven't made that yet. And then child, that's gonna be our new comment ID. New comment, I guess, is it just comment ID? Yeah, comment ID. And then set value to the comment. Okay, so let's create this new field here. So go into our strings file. Actually, it's just field comment, not comments. Comment. Oh, no, it is comments. Yeah, because it's a list of comments. And we can close the string file if I can get to the X. There we go. So field comments, and there we go. So now we also need to insert that into, whoops, into the user photos node. So database name, uh, user photos. And I believe it's the same thing, except we have the user ID. So child, and then Firebase auth, get instance, get current user, get UID. So it's just user photos, ID, photo ID, and then comments, new comment ID, and then the comment. So insert into user photos node, and insert into photos node. Okay, so let's close the project pane and go up here and in the onclick listener we can go add new comment and then pass m comment get text get text to string. And if the comment is blank, we just want to give them a toast message saying uh, you can't post a blank comment. So you can't post a, a blank comment. And then after we do post the comment, we want to do m comment set text to blank to reset everything. And also too, we want to close the keyboard. So I don't know if I ever created a close keyboard method. I can't remember and even if I did, I don't remember where to look. So I better just make a new one. So I'm just gonna create a simple method for forcing the keyboard to close because we want it to close after the user posts their comment. Otherwise the keyboard will just sit there open. Oh, whoops, I meant to do wrong bracket. And so we just need to get the view, view, view equals get activity, get current, focus. And that's also missing a bracket. There we go. And so if the view does not equal null, then we can use our input method manager, imm equals input method manager, and then get activity, get system service, and context input method service and then imm dot hide soft hide soft input from window hide soft input from window and view get window token and then zero and that should hide the keyboard so after all that we're going to set the text to zero and hide the keyboard close keyboard and now we're ready to test we just got to do one more thing, we're gonna have to set up the Firebase auth. So let's call set up Firebase auth at the very top here. And now we can run it and see if we can post a new comment. And I'm gonna grab the Firebase database here. So here we go, and we'll go to the database. And so the photo we're looking at should be this one right here with the caption uh, Kiba hashtag dog. And so let's see what happens when I try to insert a comment. So I'm just gonna go first comment and hit the check mark here. And you can see it was inserted. So now we have comments, we have a new comment ID, and we have first comment, the date created, and then the user who created it. So that's great. It looks like it worked. It successfully inserted in both nodes. Uh, I think I saw it insert down here also. Yep, there it is. So cool, everything is working as expected. 
And in the next one, we're going to work on a way of displaying the comments in the thread right here and actually updating this thread in real time as comments are posted. So I'll see you in that next video.